Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this uh, tutorial, in this video, I am going to discuss right how we uh, create the test uh, cases, how we automate the API test using the SOAP UI. Okay, so in the previous video, I uh, discussed uh, like uh, what is the project, what is the SOAP UI, how we create the project, okay, how what is the test suit, what is the test cases, and how we create. Okay, so now I am going to here uh, show you. So first of all, I will show you how we create the project again. Okay, so first we can select the here file, create empty project, or you can directly click from here, this button, right? So this will give you a project name. You can rename this, okay? Like I am going to give the name pet store, okay? So now this project is created here. Initially, this is empty because we have created the empty project. And uh, now we can right click and add the test suit. Okay. So first we need to create the project and within the project, we need to create the test suit. So next step, give the suit name. Like I'm giving the suit test suit one. So one project can contains multiple test suits. If I expand this, you can hear one C one test suit. So within the test suit, we need to create the test cases. So this is the test case. Click on this, add the test case. Test case one. Like I'm going to create here post pets one test. Okay. And uh, if I expand this post test, so this is the steps within this steps within this test, we can add multiple steps, multiple test steps. Okay, so let's create here, right click and add HTTP request. So I am going to take the example of this API. This is the pet store uh, API Swagger so uh, provided by the Smartware. This is open source API you can use for our practice. Okay, so now I'm going to take this post method so post method has a uh, request here, right? Some like what is the, this one body? This is the uh, URL, okay? Let me check endpoint URL. So I send the request, okay, here. And uh, in when we are sending the request, there are one, uh, we need to pass the JSON body as a uh, parameters, right? Request parameter. So only this we need to pass uh, as well as we need to also parameter pass the content type and response content type we need to pass. So these are the current requests you can see here. Uh, this is the endpoint URL. We can copy this. Okay, so what we need to do, we can add here one steps that is HTTP step, okay. HTTP request. Click on this. Let's add. Okay. You can see here there is a section endpoint URL. Just paste here. We can add parameters if required. Okay. This is a post body, post method. Select the post. Okay. Click on OK button. You will get this detail. Now, here, uh, you can see uh, this is the uh, panel of the SOAP UI where there are two parts, okay? Right side parts, you will get here the response when I send the request. Left hand side panels, we need to set up the request details, okay? So on the top, this is the end point URL where we are going to submit the request. And here we can add the parameters if we required, okay, for the API. So as of now, I don't have any required parameters for this API. Only we need to send the JSON body, JSON details. So copy this JSON, okay, and paste here. So this is the JSON. So we need to select the media type application slash JSON, select this, okay. And uh, now we don't need to select anything, right? So just now, if I want to run this, right? If I want to send the request to the server, then on the top, you can see there is a play button, okay? Click on this submit button. 
it will send the request and on response you can you will see at this panel left side so response we are getting as a json right so that's if I, that's why you are seeing here this message but if i select the json we will get the details this one so now we can verify we are getting the expected response or not so if i send the request you can see this is the response expected response so we are getting same response it means our api is working fine okay so now here i created one request that is the http request okay because the rest api uh, will work on the http protocols that's why i added here http request okay so next if you want to add another test cases so you can add here another request okay like i am going to add here get pets okay here i am going to check use the next api okay next api is a get method okay get pets okay here this is the uri path and uh, this is the like the uh, status status is as a query parameters right so we need to pass this in url and uh, here the values we can select available pending or sold so click on try out okay select the pending execute the test from the swagger now this is the request this request is going to the server and this is the request url and this is the response so this is my request url i can copy this okay and here in the endpoint url paste this this status is a query parameters this is the pending value click on okay and this method is not post method this is the get method so i can change this as a get okay let me save this at desktop okay so now if i send the request you will see response at right side okay there are one uh, if, uh, like data is available whose status is pending so let me change the status from pending to sold okay empty json there is no content so there is no sold uh, pets are available at server so let me change this as available hit the uh, request right i need to submit from this play button now you can see we are getting multiple test data all the test data all the data what we are get receiving from the response its status is available all the pets details okay so now if we want to get request so similar type we can do so what we need to do here first we need to create the project within project we can create the test suite okay n number of test suite you can create okay as of now i created one test suite and the test suite you can also create let me click, click on this so this is the test suite suppose that two okay one test suite contains multiple test cases within the test suite i can create test cases like here i added one test one test suite contains multiple test okay uh, we can create here multiple test like and the test i am going to create put update pets okay update update this so within the test what we need to do here you can see there are three options test steps load test security test so this is uh, for functional testing of api and here if you are adding something that is for the load testing and this is for the security testing so if we are going to perform the functional testing of the apis then we need to add the steps in this section okay right click add step or if i want to add it from directly from here then it will add as, as a steps click on https okay now here post put request one api 
Okay, here we need to pass the endpoint URL. Again, I am going for the next API where we need to put the data, update the data. So this API, this is the resource path. Okay, this is the body. We need to pass this JSON body and parameters content type as well as the response content type. Click on the tryout. Okay, execute this. Why we are executing? So that we will get the request detail. This is the endpoint URL. Okay, copy this URL, paste here. Okay, method type is post, click on okay. Now here the put request is added. Okay, so how we add the uh, post body? So within this section, this in this section we can add the post body and here we can add the form parameters, any request. So here you can add the keep as a value pair. Now this is a JSON file. So we need to select this as a JSON. And let me copy the JSON, this one, paste here. When I add, so at the bottom, you can see these are the headers. Okay, we can add the headers also. Okay, for attachment, we can do that. So all those options are available. Authentication, if we required, we can use the authentication also. I will show one by one in the coming session how we add the uh, authentication, how we add the attachment, how we add the assertions, all those we will discuss. So now in this API, we have required one JSON body uh, data, which we need, we are going to post, okay? So I just added those JSON uh, data here. Okay, media type, I have selected the application JSON. And uh, now I'm going to send the request. Click on this, submit the request. We will get the JSON response here. Select the JSON tab, you will see the response. Okay, so similar type, we can create the multiple test. Okay, now here, suppose that if we want to add the one more test for the delete, how we do that? Click on the test, test, delete, pets. Okay, in this test, we can add steps, step is HTTP request. Okay, why we are HTTP request creating? Because our test is supported HTTP protocols. Click on this, delete pets. Okay, and then here we need to select which type of the delete method and one minute here we need to select the put method instead of the post method right so this will update the request here similar type here we are going to we want to we are going to delete something we need to use the delete method like here we need to select the delete method and here we pass the endpoint url so endpoint URL, we can get like same endpoint URL, this one. Okay, and uh, if I go here, the delete method, you can see we need to pass the pet ID as a path parameters. Okay, this pet ID is going to pass per path parameters. So we can use the here ID, like I'm going to this ID, this is the one pets ID, okay we can pass here as a parameter, okay? There is no other details required, okay? To hit this API, now I'm going to send the request, okay? So in JSON, you can see blank data is getting, right? So this data is coming. So this is the expected data uh, we get. Okay, so now if we want to automate the test cases using the SOAP UI, so we will add the test cases. We can I use the send the post method, delete method, put method, get method, all those methods we will automate 
and uh, in the next tutorial we will discuss more details what is the properties how we parameterize from the variables from the values from the suit label from the test case label from the project label and how we pass the values by retrieving from one request to another request and from one API response and pass into another request. So all those we will discuss in the next uh, coming videos, coming tutorial videos. Okay. Thanks for watching the video.